a Malaysian celebrity Kane's nine-year-old daughter for removing her hijab. Alif Saikuri, millionaire founder of local cosmetics company De Herbs, uh, recently took to his Instagram account to brag about beating his child with a cane. He posted a video clip of his adopted daughter in bed, covering her face and crying as he applied ointment to her back. He explained that he had beaten her for taking off her hijab in the company of other men, and he had to teach her a lesson about a woman's dignity. Hundreds of people flooded his page condemning his behavior. Uh, should I show the video? Not yes. of the of the, okay. It's not the beating. Don't worry, guys. It's the um, where is it? It's on Instagram, right? Yeah, it's on Instagram. Yeah, this yeah. is really fucked up. And he, the the well, I well I tried to find it. Um, what I found weird is that he put it on Instagram as if like, look how kind I'm being to my daughter, because he was putting ointment on her back and she was crying. And it looked like he, he thought that he was doing something so sweet, but he was putting ointment on her back because they just beat her because she took off her hijab. Like, I can't believe how... He chained her. I think there's a difference between a beating and a caning. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm ex let, me, let me find the... Did I send you the link to the Instagram video? You did. Yeah. So if you go to our chat, you'll find it. There. Oh, yeah. I found it. It was so sad. She was so cute and she was trying to hold her back her tears because she was going through so much pain. It was so... F I should have had this ready before. Let me just... While it's loading on Instagram, let me just read the top comment. Uh, Chairman is saying, atheists are so unhappy with their life. Oh, this is just a random theist troll. Who, the reason why this is a top comment is because when theists come and like say stuff like this, they get so much res replies to that it ends up being the top comment. Let me see what the next uh, is. Molly is saying, thank God I live in a country where I can live in freedom. I think they were being, um, you know, s satirical with the thank God part. Brian is saying religion of peace. Uh, Adrian is saying hijab is a choice. Uh, quote unquote, P in Islam is for peace. I'm tired of that joke, Islam. Yeah, and we know Islam is not a religion of peace. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of that. I don't know. It's not funny to me anymore. Yeah, we know it's not. Okay, let me show you this video. It loaded. Let me actually bring it up. Um, this is not going to show well for our podcast people, so I'm going to try to des describe it. Once it's here. Oh, <laughs> Baik. Pumpan baik. Apa lagi? Pumpan apa lagi? Pumpan pandai. Pumpan pandai lagi. Sakit tak? Pumpan lagi sakit. Kamu tengok. Diam, 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 diam. Dah sikit lagi sikit. Sikit. Sikit apa aku tak ni? Lagi jadi pumpan apa? Pumpan. Ha? Abah, abah, pelak abah. Okey, pusing. Pelak abah. Dah, ya. Ah, itu kata bibi. Sakit ke? <laughs> oh, okay, that was. Um, oh, where is this? Okay, yeah, that was fucked up. And they're like, they're recording it and they're making sure, like, oh my god, it's so weird. To me, the fact that they put it out there think, uh, shows to me that how um, they're not even embarrassed about what they do. Like, they're like, they, they're putting this as a out there as if like but but ruby actually in the live chat is saying uh local people endorse his behavior so this was where is this is in, in malaysia right oh my yeah God, this is in kuala lumpur and this is again remember malaysia is supposed to be one of the most moderate islamic countries in the world right so not only the, a celebrity did this to their to his nine-year-old daughter um not only did he feel that it's okay, it's safe enough for the, for him to put it out there uh, uh, publicly, Ruby is also saying there are lo many local people that endorse this behavior. And this is the most, this is the country that people use as a 
moderate, not like you know, not like Saudi or Iran or Bangladesh or Pakistan Islamic country. And this is the best you could get. You know, this is this is it, it sh you know, look at the influence of Islam, how far it's gone. Like this, I can't, I honestly can't believe. Like it's got to so far away lands, and a nine-year-old girl has to suffer through this because of this fucked up barbaric ideology. Let me see what the top comment is. Um, anything other than people saying religion of peace? Uh, oh yeah, actually, Sarah is mentioning. Sadly, the video is still up on Instagram. Yeah, we just watched it on Instagram. When was this news? This was May first that we posted this news, but I think it came out a little bit even before that. Why is Instagram not even removing this? I mean, I, maybe they shouldn't remove it because I want people to see this. But right, but I think they're not removing it because it's not a video of him caning her. I saw a picture of him with the. What did he use? Like I saw, like a coat hanger. Yeah, I don't know. They said cane. Someone was questioning why I pointed out caning rather than beatings because people die from canings because it's severe. It splits your skin open. Uh, typical spankings or beatings of a children don't result in that kind of brutality. So what he did to her was a lot worse than what, at least in the West, people consider a beating. Mm -hmm. uh, caning is horrifying and it's terrible and a beating would have been terrible too but this is just beyond he ripped her skin open this is disgusting behavior beyond uh, disgusting is he gonna is he like is he completely nobody's gonna arrest him no consequences nothing i mean right now a lot of people are speaking out against him they're they're clearly angry that he did this in the first place a lot of people are saying look i agree even people that agree with that the little girl shouldn't have taken off her hijab they're saying i agree that she shouldn't have done that i, I believe that you should be teaching your children right from wrong but there are right ways of doing it and bad ways of doing it and you chose a very bad way of doing this another person brought up the fact that him putting it up on social media uh, subjects her f in the future to being bullied by people um, over this video of her laying there crying or her father caning her or something. Um, you know, you shouldn't you shouldn't expose those kind of things on social media. So there's a lot of people that are calling him out, saying, you know, you should you should remove this. Um, and it looks like he's digging his feet in. Wait, is he um, be just saying if he is so devout, how was he able? How was he able to adopt? Was this child adopted? Yes. So they adopted. should take her away from this monster. Yes. What the hell? But I but I don't think. I mean, he lives in a country where he could get away with this. I guess. If you're from Malaysia, please comment what you think. Because I it, so some you're mentioning a lot. He is getting a lot of backlash, right? But he's also getting mm -hmm. a lot of support. So there's both support right. and backlash in the community from. It. And a lot of people are like might say like, "Oh, Armin, you're only mentioning the uh, support he's getting, but he's also getting a lot of backlash." But what I'm saying, if it wasn't an Islamic country, I don't think you would be getting any support for caning a little child, right? Like maybe like a handful of religious nut jobs, but I think the level, even if he is getting a backlash, the level of support that he's getting is pretty fucked up, right? Uh, Muscal is saying, do you think that Malaysia needs a feminist movement? Well, every Islamic country needs that. Um, well, I mean, what you need is to get to. to to kill Islam, that's what you need. And by that, I mean like convincing people. Every time I said Islam needs to die, people are like, "Oh, Armin is so barbaric." I'm like, "No, the way you just the way you fight religion is by talking to people and convincing them out of it." You don't think when you say you well, you want to fight cancer, that's not. There's nothing. The word "fight" or the word "kill," the word "destroy." That those are. If you use those words, if you say you want to fight cancer, that doesn't mean you, you're fighting any individual. The best way to fight Islam is to talk to Muslims. The best way to be able to talk to Muslims is to befriend Muslims. So when I say I want to fight Islam, when I say I want, to, uh, I want Islam to one day end, that's not, that's not a message of hatred towards Muslims in, in any way. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Because you cannot change people's minds unless you befriend them, right? Unless you, you create a level of trust and friendship for them to even listen to you and wanted to hear what you have to say. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. 
If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.